Chasing largemouth in the top water on top waters. Snuck back into this little lake today that big boats really don't fit into all that well. We've got the little kayak back in here. Ultra quiet. Gonna try and sneak up on some good old largemouth with some top waters this morning. Sneaky bass ninjas. From here down is kind of the that was the, that's, there he is. Yeah, feels like a nice one. There we go. Nice frogfish in the kayak. Being real silent out here. Never even knew what hit him. Throwing this spinner frog. Allows us to cover the water a little bit faster than a traditional frog because you're not stopping and, and working holes over real well. It kind of allows you to locate more pods of fish, just work through areas like all these pads a lot faster, and the fish just eat it. So, one for one. Ha! One thing with fishing these spinner frogs, you know, obviously the ability to cover water faster, but when the fish eat it, they, I mean, they tend to crush it. It's a really violent, violent bite. It's always fun, you know, when they just explode on stuff. But then it moves through the pads really well. It kind of, instead of going over them, it tends to kind of snake its way through them. Um, so you're always in contact with the water, really making a lot of commotion. More of like fishing a buzz bait, but you can fish it through cover. So a good reason to use a long rod when you're kayak fishing is really just, so you can get more leverage on a fish. You know, when you're in a kayak, you're real close to the water as to when you're in a boat, you're up a little higher and you've got a little bit better angle on those fish. But when you're sitting low like this, the longer the rod, you can get that tip way up in the air, the better. This is a 7-2. These hooks are pointing up. So you gotta, when you set the hook, you really gotta get up and pull those hooks into the roof of those, that fish's mouth. So the longer the rod you can get, the better. And then obviously using heavy braid, extracting them from that cover with a high gear ratio reel, really getting on top of them and burying those hooks in. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sneaking up on them. Good one. Hmm. It's able to sneak right in here on this guy. It's pretty nice being able to get back into stuff where a lot of guys don't want to take their trolling motors, take their big boats, you know? Be real stealthy, sneak right up on them, and they just violently crush that frog. It's awesome. There he goes, back into the drink. With today's kayak designs, you know, you're really not giving up all that much. If anything, really, a lot of times, if you pick the right bodies of water, you're gonna have a more of an advantage over a big boat. There's plenty of room in here for all my tackle. Me, the easily mounted electronics, built-in rod holders. You know, there's even built-in rails for other accessories and everything, and comfy chairs. You can fish out of these things all day long. You know, it's, it's honestly, pretty addicting once you start getting into it you can get back into these little sneaky lakes and or rivers or wherever it's places that other bigger boats can't get into and you're comfortable you have everything you would have in a normal boat and you can get into some really nice fish these kayaks are so light one guy can handle it load it in and out of the back of your truck and you can even carry it you know portage it back into rivers or or other lakes where you know you might not be able to drive directly to and so that's that's another huge advantage that these kayaks have over a normal fishing boat one thing to really look for in a in a good fishing kayak would be one that's really stable i mean one that you could stand up in, walk to the back if you needed to this is a little bit smaller version so i can kind of reach it from where i'm at but it's just nice being able to have the option to stand up whether i need to flip into these pads or even just throwing this frog around it's kind of nice get a little bit more leverage get a little bit more vision as to where i'm casting and it's just really nice to you know be comfortable standing i mean i can 
do that deal and I'm totally fine. Easy sit, stand up, sit down with this strap, hang on to it, get situated, lean back into it, pull on it, pull yourself right up. One more. What? Yeah, there we go. There's another one. See, just like that, you can be so sneaky with these guys. Another oh, good one, too. Come here, come here, buddy. Oh, gosh. Just choked it. <laughs> gosh. Right there in the top of the mouth. Pop it out. And I mean, I was 10 feet from him, and he had no idea I was here. Awesome bite, just violently crushing this spinner frog, moving through a lot of, covering a lot of water on these pads, catching bass on top waters out of the top water. <laughs>